Yo, people, and welcome to Through a Different Lens Podcast. I'm your co-host, Joe. I'm Dej. I'm Jacob. How we doing? How we doing? Good to have you back, Dej. Yes. Thank you. Thank you very much, guys. It's oh. good to be back. I lied. You weren't missed. <laughs> 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 How you been, though? How you been, though, mates? Yeah, I'm cool, man. Cool. Shout out all my shift workers and that. Sometimes mm. we just work late. You get me? But I'm back. Nice, nice, nice. Mm. Nice. How you guys doing? I mean, yeah, standard, jazz, can't complain, good over here, me, very good, I'm, I'm, I'm real good, can't complain at all, um, been loving the feedback recently that mm. we've been getting on some of our posts, Yes. Um, good thing we did not mention anything negative about DBE or, oh my <laughs> god, <laughs> <laughs> been dead. I, I've been seeing some of them ones actually, yeah, literally I was like, geez, I didn't know. I literally didn't know what to expect when we posted anyway, and then mm. took what, off. Yeah, really um, took off. and a couple other posts. So yeah, no, literally just obviously like last week um, after we finished recording on the two days, me and Jacob were looking at like some I won't say analytics to an extent, but certain things, mm. um, what we think was working well and stuff like that. Then we said, yeah. When we're back with you and obviously first time seeing you in a couple of weeks that we said we'll discuss yeah. before or after we record all that jazz. It feels yeah. like it's been so long, isn't it? Yeah, it actually yeah. does. And just that, uh, just obviously plans collectively we've got and the positive outlook got on TDL for a different lens. So yeah, all good. All good, good in the hood. How you doing, Jacob? Yeah, all okay, man. All okay. Obviously it was... Uh, uh, Valentine's week last week. It seems like it's continued to this week for me. Eh? Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, we were um we went to the Masego concert yesterday. Oh, you guys uh, know who Masego is? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, saw, I, saw, I, saw, I saw quite well. I saw it on my timeline on Twitter, innit? So yeah, so we're at the Masego concert yesterday. That's the guy done Tada, isn't it? Yeah, well, was it good? Yeah, real good vibe there. Um, obviously, I just like I like seeing musical artists do what they do best mm -hmm. and he's a definition of an artist like he can sing play every instrument and he shows you that on stage he creates a beat he, he does everything so um, sure. he's got a song that it's called i can do everything so yeah <laughs> <laughs> arrogant bastard Nah, but he's, he's a good man um, i mean he didn't lie did he no he didn't <laughs> <laughs> he didn't um but yeah no real good show real good show so yeah valentine seems to continue to this week it's now done for me so yes i'm happy so yeah that was um that was that, but it's Wednesday today, so middle of the week recording. Yeah. Last, so yeah. I think Omelay concert was last night as well. Mm. And Apollo Hammersmith. Yeah. So. I did see tickets for that, actually. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. To be fair, I only knew about it last week. Pound. Yeah. Well, to be that, fair. That would have been a good, a good yeah. little show. If I'd known, I would have actually. Gone. Yeah. Yeah. To be fair, I didn't even pay for the Masego tickets. No. Mm. Because um, my brother, he was meant to go, but he couldn't go, so he just let me have them. Fair play. Yeah, so that was that was good as well. But yeah, no, um, and the venue, Alexandra Palace, I've never been there before, you know. I've been, I still haven't been there myself, actually. I haven't been yeah. to, the, I've been around it, but not inside. It's, bro, it's a real good venue, you know. Mm. There's no seating in there, it's just standard, unreserved standing. But um, even that, uh, you know how you go to shows and it's usually you have to eat the food that's in the concert. Yeah. yeah. They had like yeah. vendors. So like they had steak okay. and chips vendors, they had different like katsu vendors, they had different vendors for like different food so it was good in there and then obviously you get into the actual it's all in like the same building just different rooms so like if if you knew you were going to go to a concert there you knew you could find decent food spots yes in, yes that's actually pretty cool yeah because i didn't i didn't know that was going to be the case and then we got that's in, so like, sick oh, though there was steak and chips and there was like there was literally asian places to go to eat there was a uh, duck rotisserie like there was everything that you could possibly think of like a mini box park inside basically yes. <laughs> yeah and and a, had a DJ playing out there and all sorts. Basically, so. what's yeah, yeah. Ali Pali, isn't it? Yeah. So it was a real good vibe. And then obviously, um, in the main in the main uh, sections where he performed. So yeah, and he didn't come on till about nine ish. So everyone was chilling from doors open up early. So that's why I kind of understood why the, that dynamic was like that. Okay, fair, fair, fair. But yeah, no, great venue to have a concert in. For my first time, but I'd definitely be going back if there's another concert there. Hundred percent. Uh, it's probably. I think. Um, well, I say I think Camden Roundhouse is slightly similar. Mm. Where, but obviously they've not got as much food spots. They've right. got one inside, but you can tell it's it's kind of an independent one, if that makes yeah, sense. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because when me and my cousin went for Burner Boy, 
when his lo- latest album, he done like a show thing there, mm. mad cheap tickets and yeah. And I feel like we went whisked a lot. Yeah, I was just thinking. So is that is that Roundhouse? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whisked was at Roundhouse. Oh, the private show. Yeah, yeah, yes. the private one. Yes, yes, there yes. There was no food there. Was there food? Not at the whisked one. Oh. I don't know because we got there at a time. I didn't look, but Burner Boy, which was September. As soon as you walk in to the right, there's like it looks like a bar, but they've sorry, there is a bar, and then there was like a food vendor just behind it, kind of mm. connected inside. I see. So, literally, because we got there at a good time early, um, like we actually knew the time Burner Boy was coming on, <laughs> there wasn't no lies or anything. We got sat down, ate, had a, had a drink, and then yeah mm, fair. so when things actually go to time and you get there earlier it makes sense you, yeah, yeah you can have a good you can have a real good concert day yeah when Where you get on time when you go to most concerts yeah you're arriving if it's at like o2 for instance oh <laughs> you're waiting for like 40, 40 yeah maybe an hour or whatever well, what, what are you gonna do though next year for Usher. <laughs> for Usher. <laughs> hey. Nah, deep to it. Usher's a dickhead. <laughs> nah, he's a dickhead. Nah, those, you those, might those get tickets tomorrow, you know. No, no, it wasn't that. Like, because I actually got in the queue, but I didn't say nothing at the end. I was like, I I saw one or two tweets and I did, I was like, bro, this is like 14 months away and you just announce it and you expect people to run like this right there and there. But yeah, they ran, though. No, but he's mad, though, because you can't do it in... No one knew, bro. You can't do bro, that. Bro, that, that's my point. 10 a.m. Like, like I, I, someone phoned me and woke me up, you know. But guess what, though? Like, didn't it sell out? But th- Yeah, of course. It was always going to. No, that's the, that was the... Yeah, the pre sale. Yeah, yeah. pre sales always sell out yeah. for any artist. Well, any big artist for me, for but... Any artist was sh- like, yeah, yeah, I just... I was like... When you said it, I was scrambling, scrambling, scrambling. Then obviously, Dej said it in chat as well. And then I actually got through it. And I was like, yeah, man, working, bro, man. 14 months away. Someone t- tweeted a great tweet. They said, next year, I might not even like our shot. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, I hate you. I hate you. I just undefeated, man. Oh, man. <laughs> bro. Obviously, like, um, when we spoke about him, when he first got announced, like, it was, he was going to do the Super Bowl and stuff. I was like, I'm not as big as a fan of him yeah. as you guys. I pre- I like him a lot and stuff. Then obviously over the buzz the last few months, it's drawn me in and I was mm-hmm. saying, oh yeah, when Usher comes to the UK, I'm definitely going blah, blah, blah. Yeah, Bro, I, 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 I'll, I'll more likely try and get a ticket next year. Mm. <laughs> next year instead of the one on Thursday? Yeah, like... Cause yeah, it's true, it's true. I know things are going to change in the next 12... Bro, I've got... I literally got 14 months. Yeah, no, it's true. <laughs> it is true. Mm. It's true. I just wanted to secure my spot. Nah, I hear it. In the building. Yeah, that's that's what I was trying to do. Like, just grab my level one ticket and yeah. just cut. That's what I was doing. Nah, I, he- I hear that spot in the building so I know I'm there. Just in case I... Just in case I could get a better seat later on. But yeah. I just wanted to know I'm in the building. Yeah, because by, by the time I got to the got through all of that commotion I got through yeah all that was left was level four yeah because like, I'm not grabbing that they were standing when I got there they were standing level 1a level 4a level 4c yeah yeah I saw all that as well and then I was trying to phone my missus to figure out what one she wants she's like get anything and I was thinking yeah but this is usher you can't just get anything you, you, need, get, to, yeah, you, need, man, to, you need to get a property you get what I mean <laughs> so I was like I was just doing. I was, and I'm there trying to work out where this this area oh, look, is. Look at the seat and yeah, yeah. I had four minutes. You know when the countdown's going, and I'm on another <laughs> device <laughs> under pressure for real. <laughs> so yeah, no, but it should, it, it should be good. But announcing the the concert 14 months ahead, surprising everyone in the early morning. Yeah, uh, really uh, to be before, it before was, payday as yeah. well. Yeah, bro, I was like, bro, when Usher, the tickets aren't cheap either. Tight, like, you know? Yeah. That's another thing. Con- concert ticket prices, I feel like they're a joke now. I said it the last the last time we were on here, all three of us. Remember? Yeah, Usher is cheaper than Travis Scott. That's what I can say. Yeah. The, the, on, the only thing is, I'd only pay that price because it's him. Yeah. You see, if it was like if it was like Drake or like I've seen Drake a number of times. I ain't or anything. what's what's another big artist now? Like anyone else, I wouldn't pay that. What are you paying for Beyonce? Cause, cause what was that one? I'm not paying for Beyonce. Yeah, but you, okay, you're not paying for Beyonce, but Beyonce fans will pay anything for Beyonce. Do you know what? I'll, I'll buy the tickets and just resell it. <laughs> yeah, see. Because if it was the Beyonce. Usher ones were what, 140, isn't it? Yeah, 140. Yeah, yeah. It's like, bro, like, I was like, I know, I fully deep 10. I was just seeing what people were saying. Like, 
Remember the days concert tickets were actually 60, 70 pound. Yeah. 80 pound max, bro. I, yeah, like I'm, I'm just pushing it. Like, yeah. I was like, oh yeah, those, bro, 140 for, I was like, and the worst thing, <laughs> when I got to the checkout part, I was like, I literally just, <laughs> one person. I was like, I don't know who I'm going with. Yeah, Because you already had yours and you yeah. had it on the Saturday. The Saturday was gone, gone by the yeah, time yeah. I come through, innit? And I was like, bro, I genuinely don't know who I'm going with. In them cases, you just buy two, and then you know you just. No, nah, it's true. You could take you could take anyone to Usher concert. No, it's true. And but then I then thought, oh, See next I want to do the Saturday one. You know, I think you know how many things can happen next year, exactly. man. Exactly. So, yeah, you have you have a year to plan who you're taking. <laughs> See who's good, who's not good. Uh, who, who makes the cut? You get what I mean. That's it's, it's, it's faction. <laughs> Jacob tried this on Valentine's last week. <laughs> I'm just saying. Listen, I said I'm here to pod. <laughs> Don't be telling me anything else. Oh, <laughs> Get me. But yeah, like, I was just like, bro, I might change my mind. Not even I might change my mind. I was like, I hate, it. I hate what you're saying. Get out of the way and stuff like mm. that. I might tomorrow. I might change my mind and see how I feel. I'm even going back. Okay, cool. <laughs> I'm going back on tomorrow. Were you trying to get another? T- I'm just, I'm more? just, I just need, you know why? Because You're Saturday, I don't know where I'm going to be. Match day, I could be anywhere. So I might not be able to get back in time. So oh, I need, saying, oh, next yeah. Year. So oh, I yeah, need yeah. the Wednesday. Oh, yeah. oh okay. The, fair enough. Yeah, the Wednesday is guaranteed. My, it should be guaranteed my day off. <laughs> you get what I mean? So, well, 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 when is it, it April? Well, what if it's international <laughs> you June? You don't know, FA Cup. <laughs> <laughs> is it international maybe. June, April? It's true. Nah, nah, it's usually March. March. Okay. Because yeah. even... <laughs> I'll be staying here for our shot. Why? <laughs> I'll fly, fly later, I say, I've got to see this, man. Boy, you don't know if you might have a game that Wednesday as well next. That's true, though. Bro. That's true, but the Tuesday that's and the like Saturday. That's like the Easter period, yeah, but you know they will like to mix up fixtures. Yeah. You do the Saturday, Monday. Oh, let's put a game on the Wednesday. Wednesday yeah. Boom. Mm-mm. It's like, bro. Mm. Yeah, it's no. like even your game this Saturday, that's fortunately been called off because of your FA Cup game. Yeah. It actually could get rescheduled to, obviously, Wednesday. majority of the time it's on a Tuesday, but they mm. could do it on a Wednesday at, yeah, it's on true. another week. So yeah, depending wrong. on how they feel. Yeah, you're not wrong. Yeah, bro. It's the calendar, bro. Yeah. Because <laughs> the season has to be finished. The yeah. games have to be played. They're going to have to f- squeeze it in somewhere. Because who you look meant to, who are you look meant to play this coming Saturday again? Weymouth. Weymouth, exactly. So for their fixtures, they might have had a game on yeah. another day where they need to find a balance between both mm. of you. Yeah, it could be a Thursday or yeah. Wednesday. That's probably, it probably will be. It'll probably be a weird day, but <laughs> even, a even a Taunton fixture. Yeah, yeah. pulled off. But this is gonna be. Have they rescheduled that one yet? Nah, neither of them have been rescheduled. Yeah, now nah, I knew. You, yeah. This upcoming one wouldn't have been, but. But we're gonna have like sixteen. I'm thinking sixteen, seventeen games to play in March. How, how many games have been postponed for you, lot though? Like four. Two in this period of time. Okay, cool. So just two. Saturday, last Saturday, and then this Saturday. And then this Saturday. Yeah, so just two. Yeah, because last Saturday, the game got called off on the Friday because the pitch... Jacob yeah. showed me a video of the ball bounce and it didn't bounce. Yeah, on the Friday. But for, luckily for you lot, they did that the day before. Yeah, because we Whereas Football League recently, teams have been going to the ground and the ref's calling it off an hour or two before kickoff. I don't know why mm-hmm. they're bothering though. Why, so why, fans, they get, why don't they uh, get someone to go early? I know the refs aren't full-time. Half of these refs aren't full-time, so they actually can't. Yeah. But why don't they get a groundsman to say, look... That, let's be honest this game can't be played I think one game in particular was obviously Cambridge played Bolton last night but that was meant to be two weeks ago mm-hmm. and they played eight minutes of the game but it, the rain continued hard and I think Cambridge fans were saying during the day the weather was actually fine oh okay so it's just <laughs> so a case it was weather. like that was a once in a that was a once like once in a lifetime but a rare occasion kind of thing right right because right. I believe that was like the first game at Cambridge that had been called off for like through the weather for like 30 years or 40 years. I might be wrong. That's, that's how games should be getting I postponed if they Zena. get postponed on the day. During the during game. The game. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Bro, I remember like for seven, eight minutes and just like the ball just stopped moving. Yeah. <laughs> and I was just thinking, bro, Bolton fans coming from Manchester to Cam- Bolton to Cambridge on a flipping Tuesday, Tuesday night. night. It's like, bruh. Yeah, no. I've only Football ever had fans one game. travel, man. Mate. I've only ever had one game called off during the game. Is it? Yeah. At Aldershot, Wrexham. What, at Wrexham? At Aldershot. Oh, okay. Yeah, How comes? Aldershot. Um, waterlogged. waterlogged. Oh, okay. So the game, the game started and about uh, about 35 minutes, they were 2-0 up. 
the ball stopped rolling. So people, you're passing it, and the ball stopped. So yeah. So what did they like? Did they fully replay the fixture? Or? Yeah, we replayed the whole thing. Um, so how many Tuesday. minutes is it? Does it have to get to where they'll keep like the current scoreline, for instance? Or? I that's a good question. I don't know, you know, because I feel like uh, what happened to um, my boy um, Regan the other day in Belgium. Their game got called off, and they had to play that last eight minutes. I swear. Yeah, they had to replay the last eight on minutes. a different day. Yeah. I'll be so vexed. So they're doing the warm up. They do everything. Warm up for eight, eight minutes. minutes. That's like a that's like a grad like, like a grad match. Surely, if it's like eighty minutes played, they give a result, man. Nah, bro, they gave. They had to play yeah, I feel like football. I've never known the actual rule for it. Yeah, I, I, I think you have to re. You have to finish the game sometime, and it depends how long you've got left. But to come a whole new day, warm up. Eight minutes. Eight minutes. I'm. I'd be like, look, look, let's just play this in the training round. I'll be. I'll be going for it though. I'm yeah. trying to score straight away. Yeah, but what, what if you're losing? I ain't trying to pass to no one. <laughs> yeah, if you're losing like four 0 you're thinking. Yeah. But they're still making you finish the game. Jeez. Because um, whose game got called off for um? Remember the game in the Prem, Luton game that got called off for the um the captain's heart. Oh, Tom. Lo- uh Bournemouth. Yeah. I yes. don't know what they're gonna do with that. It's true, actually. So that would be interesting. What they they've, do they've kicked the can down the road with that one though. Yeah. Because maybe that one could have been replayed already. Nah, no, because the game... Well, Luton was still in FA Cup. Bournemouth was still in... I don't know. What they They'll find a way because there's not... Like, but there's, there's time, though. There's, there's time not for a lot Prem of, Yeah, teams. pressing. Yeah. It's not like they're playing Saturday, Tuesday, like you look. No. Only, like, the odd times. Let me see if they've rescheduled it. So they're doing, like, cup weeks, though. Mm. Okay, so they've done, moved it, I believe, to the 13th of March. Are they playing the whole game again? Uh, From flash scores, it's just got the... What time is the kickoff? Seven thirty. So it's probably. Oh wow. Yeah. Evening thing as well. Yeah. Oh, then was that game at Bournemouth? Because this is at Bournemouth. No, it was. No. Yeah, was it? Yeah, it was at Bournemouth. The stadium, you know, because I'm looking at the stadium. Both. Yeah, so yeah, yeah that's that's what I was thinking. thinking. Don't even know. Because the game was. They've, yeah, they've got two. They've got Luton's got them at home oh, in okay, April. Okay. So yeah. Um, okay. Fair, yeah. Because even <laughs> cross sports, I don't, we've gone from concert to football to so NBA. But the Knicks, Rockets, um, the Knicks got. I think on Jalen Brunson, there was a call on him for a foul that was not a foul at mm. all. And basically, the refs have admitted it in their report that they got it wrong, didn't it? The right, chief right, ref. Right. Yeah. But he wasn't the ref that made the call, and. They said if the Knicks appeal is successful, the, they have to play because the game would have gone to overtime. Yeah. So I think they have to play overtime. So they have to fly back. But they don't play each other again. So they just have to fly back on a random day. And play Supposedly. Overtime. So I think that's the, the great area. The schedule's already tight though. Yeah, especially after All Star break. It's yeah. like they're having like a week off somewhere. That's that's it. This is every and other day. from Houston yeah. to New York. <laughs> hours, man. It's not a nice. Flight. That's like a five six hour yeah. flight. I'm sure, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. That's well, crazy. They, they're though. Surely they're gonna have to fit it in on a road trip. But then you have to break both of their schedules down and hope the Knicks are at home. Yeah, yeah. And hope that because it has to be in, in New York, I think. Yeah, that's just too to much. play oh, five minutes. Because I think I've read there's oh there's been. I might, the number might be wrong, but in NBA history, there's been eight successful appeals. I don't think there's been one for maybe our lifetime or when I was very young or something mm. like that. But, schlap, bro. <laughs> yeah, it's madness. Because imagine that messes the Knicks up their season. That's the thing. That's why you know you have to play the yeah. game. Yeah. <laughs> so, That's interesting, man. Yeah, but, mate. But, I, I, yeah, only one team there are starting to play for as well, so that makes it even worse. Yeah. Yeah, but the Rockets are trying to get the final playing spot, and they're not far from it either. They're not right. far, but yeah, but every every game counts at this point. Right. The way everyone's moving right now, the NBA, every game counts. But what's the the teams below? Well, the teams above the Rockets right now, they're just it's it's Lakers, Golden State. Yeah, uh, I can't remember who's the other seeds, but a New Orleans in there. Warriors are tenth seed. Lakers are ninth, maybe. The Pelicans. I think they're seven or eight seed. Yeah. All right, well, right. They are. The really no, the know. Kings are eight seed. The Mavs are seven seed. Oh, New Orleans are six. Six. Boy, they big up themselves. But you know, yeah. The Pelicans actually have a good squad down there. When I start to think about it, they just need to play, man. 
I just don't think that they've got a squad to make noise, enough noise. Yeah. They've got a good squad, but... Not a great squad. Yeah. Mm. So, but... We're on NBA, though. So. I mean, yeah. <laughs> the all-star break. <laughs> To this day, I ain't even seen the game, bro. Yeah, you didn't. You, she didn't miss anything. Did you watch <laughs> and it? That team scored more than two hundred points. Yeah, I, 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 the fuck's that? I, did, <laughs> I didn't watch it because remember we said last week we just record it. Yeah, so I watched. Um, <laughs> there's no point watching it. So I, I was actually, to be fair, I thought you were going to though because you had your game on Monday. So obviously yeah. you didn't have to be up early. Yeah, it? I, I was up at the time it was on. Yeah, okay. But I was just like. House of highlights. Yeah, I said I have no business watching this. I turned it. I turned it on for like about I'm gonna say a minute and thirty seconds. I saw the score and said, "Yeah, there's no point." <laughs> right, what quarter was that? Or? In the second. Oh, fair. It was good. Yeah, yeah, yeah it would have been ridiculous. I saw the score and said, "Hold on, nah." And then the halftime show. I remember the halftime show. They said, oh, "If they reach two hundred, they said, I hope they don't reach two hundred points because then it'd be embarrassing." And then I, when I woke up in the morning, I saw 211. I said, what was going on? And the East won. I thought the West would just come and sweep that. But do you know, the <laughs> thing with All-Star, they don't care, innit? So no one cares, bro. It's what it is. Because <laughs> even I saw um, the West is lineup. I, saw, I think I've seen both their lineups beforehand. And just a picture of the West, someone's like, this is the greatest team assembled. Mm. And I was like, this team's actually looks mad hot wavy. But it's then, stacked. But then someone quote tweeted and watched the East beat them by at least 15. Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> none of them care. Bro. Not it? one of them care. Like, even like All-Star Saturday night, it's it's losing this. They should remove some things though. I think they should take away the, the All-Star game. Hmm? Yeah, take it's it away, man. with what? Don't replace it, fam. So you just so what you do on Sunday? But that that's, take the hit, man. That's kind of that's the pinnacle of All Star Weekend. Yeah, the co-main attraction. But the, you know, I I think they should put you know the skills games, yeah. Just Even the skills challenge. Crap, bro. Was it Crap. um and throwing it with the left hand? Left hand. Then was it Scotty Barnes back of his? Yeah, yeah. Back, yeah. I, I was like, bro, put, put, put like the actual. I don't know. T- the make make it mandatory yeah, for like the big stars to do it. No, because you can't. The only competition taken yeah, serious is the three point thing. competition. Yeah. Because the dunk contest, we have winners of the dunk contest. That aren't yeah, take that away as well, man. This is the thing though, because with the dunk contest, there's, there's a level of creativity that we've kind of got to the point where you can't do like, anything Like, wh- what more can we see, fam? Yeah. Dunk, dunk, fam. And That's the thing. So you kind of got to get... How many windmills do you want? Yeah. Triple I 360 think, I think as fans as viewers though, we get too greedy though in the sense that I get why you're saying that but if it was the star names doing it people wouldn't have that backlash I think that I, I mean Jalen Brown done it no no but he was dunking he, like he, he, he didn't do <laughs> he was dunking <laughs> like he did man jumped over Kaisen come and on and then bro. he sh- did this after the dunk. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was funny. I said, what is going man's, on? Man's dabbing in 2020. It's that bad. I even forgot the name of it. I'm no, trying to remember it. I was like, the dab after. I thought you were going to dab while you're jumping over a man that's five foot. That was sitting down. Do you know what? Yeah, I, f- I feel like he lost a bet. <laughs> and he just decided to to do that. And that was, that was his forfeit of the bet. Bruv, to dude, dab dude. after he dunks. Bro. I feel like just him doing I can imagine him like man. this here thinking, why, why did I do this? <laughs> <laughs> ain't, ain't, ain't he the vice president of the NBA um, Players Association? Jalen Brown. I think so. I was like, bro. What is going on? You won't take him serious if he's doing this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Uh, All-Star weekend. Nah. The, the highlight for me was Sabrina versus Steph. Yeah, I saw I was rewatched because I was outside eh? I rewatched that. That's the only thing I actually fully rewatched. Mm. Everything else I just saw clips of. Yeah, that's just, that's similar to me. Like, to do you know what? I know, might as well I just combine it. You know? it. Say that, Gazer. They might as well just combine it. What, WNBA WNBA and NBA. Different times though. Do you remember the WNBA season isn't playing right now? Mm. I didn't even know that. Yeah. So Sabrina just been practicing shooting on her own. On she, her own. She's cold still. Yeah. She's cold. She is serious. I just feel like. The skills challenge can be taken serious. Oh, easily. Remember when they did the year um, Big Men versus the Gods? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I felt like they took it serious. Yeah, that, that one was good, actually. Like, but that's the year they changed the dunk contest. Mm. When you everyone was just, there was that four man running to the rim at all times just to do the dunks. It's when Damian Lillard was in it. Oh, okay, fair. So. The thing, Matt, I actually went back and watched Matt McClung's 
all his dunks. Mm. He's a very, he's a wavy no, dunker. He's, he's yes. good though, he's good. It's just because he's not a name, like That's a big name. He plays in G League. And I think um, Stephen A, was it Stephen A on first take on Monday? He said something about basically they should find all the best dunkers in America. Mm-hmm. And then... Yeah, make them go at it, man. Yeah, but every, for instance, every athlete, just say you're LeBron, I'm KD, um, you're Steph. Oh, sponsors you, one. You sponsor them and that money's on you, basically. And that then uh, whoever wins gets like, say if it's a million dollars, 500K or 250K yeah, yeah, yeah. or whatever. That, like that. That, that makes it a bit more spicy. I mm. was like, fair, fair. Maybe it just adds a little twist to it because... But they just need, there needs to be a level of seriousness with these things. And you can tell that it's just not there right now. So they need, they need to do something. Everyone's otherwise, trying to stay healthy. So they don't want to get hurt. These men just... Otherwise, it'll be an all-star break for different reasons, really. But that's what it is. It's a vacation time because most of the players that aren't all-stars go away. And then the all-stars have to be at all-star weekend. Like LeBron's it, never had the break. He's always had to be there. Yeah. I mean, even Chris Broussard said... Um, that now All Star break starts for the players on Wednesday because they have to do like a lot of media stuff, yeah, yeah, yeah. a lot of like charitable stuff, mm-hmm. and then um, they go to quite a lot of the corporate parties and stuff like yes. that. I was, I didn't know that that part. So he said, um, by the time it gets to Sunday now, he said quite he he'll understand that the players will be tired mm. because of all the duties that they've had to do leading up to it. Yeah. Whereas like he's. I think Nick asked him, was it like that back in the day? He said only to a certain extent. Mm. It wasn't as hectic, like in terms of their schedule and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And that the actual All-Star game used to be played earlier in the day. Oh, okay. So it Not, wasn't a late night. Thing. Yeah, it, it wasn't like 8 p.m. over there, right, for instance. Right, It'll right. be like 3 in the afternoon or so. Because mm. it's a Sunday. Yeah. And there's no mm. NFL. So, so they do like Sunday. every True. main activity on the All-Star weekend. I think Friday, Saturday and Sunday will all be like afternoon. Right. And stuff right, like right. that. Right. And because he said by the time it comes to Sunday night, he said some of the athletes are tired, especially the older ones. Mm. <laughs> LeBron. Do you know, but do you remember? Bro, LeBron didn't show face until Saturday and that was only to do media. And then after that, nothing Jeez. else. Yeah, that is true. Do you remember the 2020 All-Star game when they brought in the quarters where if you win the quarter. Mm. Yeah, you get then, prize money. Yeah, and then there was a target score. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. And the target score was 157 that All-Star game. And yeah. the last quarter lasted forever because everyone was actually playing defense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know why they took away that. I did, this year's format, I actually didn't check it out because I didn't know they changed anything. They, they like changed the it. Like the East v West. Yeah. And then yeah, I didn't, I didn't know that was back. That was back. Which I think is better, to be fair. But yeah. it's just, yeah, it's a free, free game, I bro. I don't think so, you know. Well, the East versus West one. I just think the draft was calm. It added another element to the game, but it was a, it was calm for the first two years. Yeah, when people were playing properly under it. Now it's just okay, cool. Well, we're gonna draft you. We ain't gonna play properly anyway. So what's the point? And the reason yeah. why that one got slightly not annoying for me, but it's just like you just one you're just picking your mates or picking who mm, you want. Yeah. Whereas like. Actually, play with your rivals. Rivals, sorry, in the West, for instance. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Play with your rivals in the East. Mm-hmm. You're all cool, but yeah, <laughs> do you know what them. I mean? Like, and it also shows the discrepancy between the actual stars in the East and then the actual stars, stars in the West. West. This weekend, you could really see it mm. when they're they're taking their team photos. So, yeah, just, I don't, I don't know what they're gonna do with it. And to be fair, it seems like a lot of people in the major. They've not. No one's got like a real solution for it. Nah, um, it's just, just it's, loads of discussion. It's literally the players themselves. Yeah, it's down. <laughs> to, it's down to the people playing the game. Yeah, they said they they said they were, they could incentivize certain things in terms of steals and blocks. You there's, incentivize that. But there's only so much you can incentivize, man. Also, why are you giving people that make four hundred million more, more bread to steal a ball? The thing is, <laughs> like those incentives won't even mean much to those lot compared to. Thing. The playing incentives because mm. the incentives was for the the guys at the end of the bench that don't really right, make money right, right. as much as the other stars and stuff. So like for instance, the Lakers big stars LeBron, AD, they were going harder for the twelfth and thirteenth man on the bench because mm-hmm. they're earning maybe five hundred k a year. Yeah. Whilst these men are earning fifty million a year. <laughs> so yeah. Yeah, what's, what's, what is the minimum for NBA? Ah, uh, like it, it, it depends. It depends yeah. on vets the minimums a million. Yeah. But even even so. The solution could there be a case of the winner of the game this could be mad but the winner of the game the all-star game yeah gets home court advantage in the nba finals that's what nick said 
I ain't even watched the first one. That, that, that was actually what I was going to bring up. So, I said next. Um, and like Chris Broussard basically said that that wouldn't be fair at all because just in case... Yeah, it won't be fair. Uh, All-Star gets called up. That's in the ninth or tenth seed. I'm that player. How serious am I going to take it for you? Mm. That's in the first or second seed in that conference. Do you know right, I mean? but then I'm in this conference, so I need to, just so I know if I do get there, I've got home court advantage. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, it's, it's big. It's a big thing. I, I'm not against that. I, like, because when I, when I heard that, I was like, that's the very first time I'm hearing something of that. So I couldn't rule it out straight away mm. or say yes, yes. I was like, oh, I'll think about that over the next few days. I think I saw that like, yesterday i believe or maybe on monday so it's like yeah, yeah i don't i don't know if that worked though because bro like these players they don't want to get injured and stuff but mm. when they're playing in the summer and going at each other they're actually playing quite like yeah some defense to an extent yeah. so it's like do something yeah bring that same level but well. we're gonna have to wait and see for that one also i feel like when you play like when you don't play as hard it's easy to get injured that, that's how I feel with it. Yeah, because your concentration is not as high in it. Yeah. So that step. But I feel just... like with basketball, mm. is you you can be, if laid everyone's going to be laid back, you can you be can, laid yeah, back. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Whereas, like, if it's more. Yeah, but in, injuries don't discriminate, though. That's no, true. no, but if it's more like football or NFL, yeah, if you you're half hearted, you're. Pfft. Yeah, you can't really do. You couldn't do an all star football game. No, yeah. but if, if you're half hearted, you land on your ankle, you roll it one time, you're done. Yeah, but they know how to land. Yeah, that's Do you true. know what I mean? And when they're, going <laughs> they're, they're still, taking their time, they still the roll. Game. Yeah. They still roll their ankles, though. Yeah, that's no, true. It's true, but like, that that's just more of not being. If you're going to roll your ankle all star game from Duncan, it's not because you're being laid back. Yeah. Yeah, injuries. No, injuries but even if even if you're laid back and you roll your ankle, like that's why I say injuries don't discriminate. You can still get injured playing calm. Yeah, it's true. You can get injured playing like, hard. Like people get calm. injured during warm ups. Yeah, that's yeah. True. But but yeah, I, I hear what you're saying. I just don't feel like from what I've seen of the All Star game the last couple of years, no one's gonna get injured going like this. <laughs> and going, <laughs> they're all, they're all like, tall enough; they can just. Yeah. It's like reaching for something to dunk at the top shelf, bro. Mm. They're all playing at Jokic pace. Yeah. Like, Yo- Jokic looks quick in that game. He looks like he doesn't want to be there. Yeah, that too. <laughs> that too. He, he's, he, he understands it's a waste of his time. Yeah. Yeah, he's, he's not trying to be there like that. But yeah. Another thing that they were saying that will possibly help, because the international level players are really good, do international for you, America. Yeah, but that, they used to do that in the um, Rising Stars game. Yeah, they did. I don't know if it made a difference, but the Rising Stars always want to play. Yeah. So. Yeah, because they their stock ain't ain't where it should where be. Is, where is like the I was gonna say senior man, <laughs> the seniors, the NBA players, like the superstars. They might take it a bit to a bit more personal, isn't it? They could. They could. That would be a good game, you know. Because realistically, like the whole topic for the last week has been the face of the league, for instance. Mm. And there's no real American star to grab it by the grass of his neck. Yeah. Unless, for instance, the Celtics win it. Tatum can yeah, yeah. take Could it. Be the because the best time. players in the league are the international players. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> yeah, it's true. It's true. So, And you've got Wemby coming up. You've got the next superstars are international players as well. Like, yeah, bro. That's so crazy. Yeah, boy. Because that's literally been, on all the shows that I've watched this week or debates... It's just been who's going to be the next face of the league, mm. blah, 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 et cetera. When yeah. LeBron, KD and Steph call it a day. Yeah. Because Tatum's Tay- the best one out of them. Player? No, I'd say Luca is. Oh, you're talking about No, no, America. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'd say Tatum is. Obviously, Embiid's going to play for the US, isn't it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, but he's... Yeah, the, yeah, the process yeah, is I finished. <laughs> yeah, the process is done over there, man, so... I said the process is finished. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like even, we, we, even the process is finished, bro. Even uh, thinking man. about it, American players, obviously, Jar's out for the season, so yeah. he can't battle for that title. He, he can't be the face of the league after all of that stuff either. But uh, you know, America, they love a good redemption story. Yeah. So they yeah, do, he, but not face of the league worthy, though. <laughs> mm. Yeah, you'd be surprised, bro. <laughs> it's America. Yeah. True. So, where? And Whereas, they, like, they the international players, as well. the international players, they're the best players, but they don't really care. Yeah, because <laughs> this all-star game for them is thinking... You just even see. being, like, the Jokic doesn't care about being the face of the league. Yeah. They just want to They just want to win and make their money, and then once their career's done, go back home. Yeah. 
Giannis seems to, he seems, he seems like he's in a weird spot. Yeah, he doesn't know what he is. Yeah. So he's not given up for, oh, yeah, I want to, I want to be the man that rules the league. Mm. And to be fair, after he won the championship, he could have grasped it. Like, yeah. at this he point, he could have been the face of the league, yeah. for instance. But, but then Steph won, again, Steph won one after him. Yeah. And then, sh- and like, he's still got LeBron, Steph, KD in the league. You kind of, yeah. You know, you kind of can't. There's I still always going to be the talking points, regardless of what. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Yeah. 100%. Even LeBron, LeBron could be in this league for the next five years. He'll still be the talking point. Yeah, To be, be fair, well. I watched it. It's mad. <laughs> I watched more media stuff this All-Star weekend than, than, than the actual star. game. Yeah, so I watched, same. like, his pre-game and post-game interview. I watched mm. Steph's one. I think I watched a bit of KD's one as well. I was like, bro, forget the game itself, but... You can tell, I don't, LeBron's, he's not playing much longer, man. Yeah, I think he's. Is it? Time. Yeah. He's got maybe two, three years max, if we're yeah. lucky. I think Bronny's Jeez. year, if Bronny comes to the NBA, because I don't know what's going on with that. Yeah. I think that could be his last year. If Bronny came out this year, I think LeBron. I don't, like, I don't think he's coming out this year, though. No, I don't think so. That's why I think LeBron's going to stay in LA for one more year, wherever Bronny gets drafted to. He's, he's go still inside. starting, though. Or the Lakers draft Bronny. <laughs> That's true, but the Lakers are going to be that bad. Oh, Bronny, uh, Bronny might not be that good. He, he might not be high, in the, yeah. so they can... Well, even. Depends, though. Depends. That could be the year that LeBron takes a minimum somewhere. Yeah, mm. but, uh, yeah it's not like he needs it. He he really doesn't, but I don't see him doing it. Because yeah. <laughs> yeah. I feel like if he would have done he's it... Still, he's still he would, the kid from Akron, isn't it? Yeah. He would have done it by bread. now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Do you know what I mean? True. He's going to be 40 this year. Yeah, yeah, no, I feel, like, I feel like he needs like a like a solid reason to do that. What? To take a yeah. minimum? That's the only, that's, that's Bronny, the only reason. Bronny's yeah. the only reason, yeah. yeah. If a team didn't have cap space, but that team needed him and then... Mm. Or could get him and... Just the LA, for instance. Yeah. Because <laughs> he doesn't have to move anyone, his family, nothing mm-hmm. like that. He's already played against 40% of people in the NBA. Yeah, NBA history. history. That's nuts. Yeah. He's a... <laughs> 40%? Yeah, he's a special, special athlete. That number's only increasing as the years go on. <laughs> right, bro, it's, it's nuts. It's actually So even nuts, by the time bro. he finishes, it could be at like 45% or maybe 50%. No, nah, not 50, but maybe yeah. 45 By the time he's done and the NBA gets, continues and continues. Bro, it's nuts. Oh, man. What a player. What a man. Because even I was watching something about KD speaking about him as well, just how like special LeBron's been, etc. And all that jazz. And like just deep in all, all him, Steph... KD, KD, yeah. Seth, LeBron, basically, like, bro, five five years, they're all most likely not going to be in the league. <laughs> yeah, that's true. They'll be in their 40s. Well, LeBron basically is. Yeah, and them two would have touched 40 yeah. then. Yeah. yeah, Steph Curry what, signed that five-year deal, mm. five-year extension, but it's going to take him to over 40. Yeah, he, he, he might retire before that anyway. Because what, Steph's 35? Yeah. KD's 35 as yeah. well, yeah, so... So yeah, man. Bro, it's the end days for the legends, bro. Yeah, then you got Kawhi as well. Yeah. It's the end. PG. Yeah, like, the, the league's everyone. in a good place with the young players, but in terms of like... The core superstars. Yeah. Everyone you watch the NBA for. And someone who you know it's gonna, gonna... Like, basically, what I'm trying to say is when, for instance, KD was the younger guy's age, you knew KD was gonna be that guy. Yeah. The younger guys, as good as they are, you don't know if they're gonna reach these lots levels, mm. for instance. That's true. That, that no, like we don't know that yet. <sighs> it's it's tough, man. Stop yeah. speaking of Kevin, KD, Kevin Durant. I don't know if you've heard his track with Slally. Yes, I. It's as, a very good song, bro. Very very. They come out bro. officially that, yesterday. Yeah. Or was it yesterday or two days ago? No, I've had it saved on Spotify for a week. KD, track was steady. Oh, you have had it saved on Spotify for a week. At yeah, bro. Week. I saw it a couple of days ago, like last week on Twitter. He's rapping. Bro, KD's smooth, you know? Yeah, it was actually a good track. I was like, bro, I, I had yeah, him. Though. I said, KD, I need more, bro. <laughs> yeah, look. Yeah, look. Was, is he better yeah, than Dame? 16th of Feb. Today's 21st, yeah. Five yeah. days. Yeah. Is, is he better than Dame? Well, he's he's featuring, but the feature was cold and the track was actually good. But Stanley's also a good a good rapper. Yeah, yeah, Stanley's cold. It was only like one minute that he featured for. Yeah, for instance, Ooh, stomach rumbling. But fair enough. That's that's a that's a good time to put damage on the track. That song bro. was intent contention for my song of the week. 
And you know it was uh, it was in contention yeah. for mine as well. It's that it's actually a good I literally, track. I played it. I played it beginning of the week. Bare. Then I had my song of the week when uh, probably last two days. I was just banging today when I went gym. But mm. yeah, man, KD. Yeah, no, bro, KD smooth, bro. Big yeah. Kevin Durant. You know who I am. I'm Kevin Durant. <laughs> 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 so yeah, bro, that that hey. But yeah, speaking of another star, I should say, um, all-star, elite player, that's going to be on their level, but in a different sport, Kylian Mbappé yes, is yes, leaving yes. PSG. It's about time, really. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> don't know what else he wanted to do there, man. Obviously, it's not. Maybe he wanted to statue or something. 100%. Still probably get one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, true. Oh, the way the PSG owners are moving, them. Maybe not. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's not happening with yeah. them. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but yeah, obviously it's not announced, but we know more or less where he's going to go, Real yeah. Madrid. Um, other teams think they might have a chance. No one really has a chance. No one's really built to have Mbappe, but Madrid. Yeah. He was, it felt like he was born to be a Real Madrid football player. Yeah. 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 You can see it. He's not, he's not, he's not Barcelona. Yeah. No, he is the glitz not. and the glam. He's a Galactico. He's a Galactico. Yeah. That's the best way to put yeah. it. Um, it was, it was more or less inevitable. And do you know what? Yeah, hand, even though it was mm. long overdue, I feel like it's also perfect timing. Yep. In the sp- sense that Madrid don't actually have to pay a fee. Yeah, free. <laughs> yeah, it's true. So paying him a massive signing on fee, which I've seen will be 150 million. Yeah. That's, what we, that's, what, we, that's what we see. Yeah. <laughs> on the books. Yeah, on, on, on the, the books. books. Yeah. <laughs> So Trust me, brown paper bag, you know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, Number 200 million there. His <laughs> salary will be 15 million a year, which I think I've worked out. It's only about, I say only. About 400k. 400k a week. Yeah. Quick which maths. is under, him being underpaid for his value. But then I saw the signing on fee of 150 million. And when I worked that out, um, it basically adds up to him, I think, nearly making like a million a week. If they're to do it in that term, yeah, then yeah. I was like, okay, cool. Yeah. Everything makes sense. Yeah, he basically, basically is waging out PSG. Yeah. Around yeah. a million pound a week. Yeah. Exactly. So, because um, I was yeah, saying... taking no losses. I think I None. <laughs> no losses. The, the only loss he took was rejecting Saudi last year. Because I would have taken that deal with my eyes That one even touched the NBA. Even no. Giannis and them lot were like, right. A billion. <laughs> He's declining that money. Or Bro, if money. I was Mbappe, I, I would have scored like 60 goals in that league right 60. now. <laughs> Bro, 60. Bro, I would have gone there with a, the biggest smile on my face. Sign that contract. Only, you only have to go for one, one year. year yeah. And join Real Madrid. I'd be bagging five goals a game. Bro, Neymar moved there and just Neymar got injured, but he's still making million. Like, he's, my goodness. Bro. The only person that came back was Hendo. Yeah, it's, it's just the fact that that could, it's that offer didn't come back to this country reached, though. Yeah. <laughs> that offer he reached them, <laughs> reached America. Yeah, that's <laughs> where when, the, when the NBA stars reacted to it, yeah. and they were like, "Rah!" They, that's when they started saying, "Nah, my son's not playing basketball; he's yeah. playing football." Yeah, the way Giannis reacted to that, yeah, bro, reacted like a true Nigerian. Yeah, that that was it. He's Nigerian, so I come up, bro. Because, bro, even <laughs> people on Twitter are funny. They, someone quote tweeted said, "Is that all Mbappe is gonna earn at Madrid? The Monte Sabonis earns this, yeah, I saw and that. you expect me to take um, soccer seriously?" Yeah, I saw someone else say, "No, you didn't see what you got offered and declined." Yeah, just like bro, it yeah. just shows the somewhat disparity or the gap to an extent of what the elite stars in the NBA get, or yeah. the not even elite stars, just no, the players no, that get no, max. Yeah. Max no, contracts. players in general, fam, because the, the lowest players of the NBA, they still get, like, half a million. But there's only 400 NBA players, give or take. Yeah. True. So, But if you're talking about Prem now, the lowest players, they're not getting 500k a year. They're getting paid more than that. Less, bro. The lowest paid Prem player in the 22-man squad. Yeah. If you think they're on less than 10 grand a week. Yeah, they could be on, like, Prem average three or four. Prem average 50 bags. Yeah, don't. I, I w- no, when, I'm, t- I'm talking about lowest though, like I lowest. Would, the, the but I won't include like the young G's. Yeah, in don't that. include the young G's. In the 22 man squad, isn't the young G's? You know, only include the man that are on first team Premier League contracts. So no one's on less than 10 of a, a of a Luton player, for instance. I presume they'd have the lowest wage bill in the league. Um, maybe their lowest pl- player player might be on 10 bags a week. Yeah. Maybe the Prem average is 50 racks a week. You know. Maybe 10 bags a week. That's like 120 a year though, isn't it? Yeah. 
No, what, 10 bags? Yeah. 10 bags a week, 500 10 bags, bags 500. 500. 500 bags what am I talking about? Yeah. 500 bags, yeah. I was doing the month, yeah. sorry. So that's, mm. you, you think Prem players? Maybe I miscalculated in my head still. Remember, NBA teams only have, what, 15 men on the roster? Yeah. Mm, nah, that's 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 rookie though. Rookie is five hundred five hundred bags. Well, five hundred k. But, okay, uh, but then, if you do if you do vet if you do vet minimums, yeah, it's twenty bags a week. Oh really? A million pound a year. Yeah, twenty thousand dollars as well. Oh, yeah, yeah, Remember, yeah, dollars true, and pounds true. aren't the same. Mm, <laughs> almost. Yeah, true. So when you actually do the law of averages, football players are probably making more money than them. You think? Probably. When I don't, then I, the I, I average com- stars though. I compare the top to the top. Yeah. No, Premier, no NBA player is getting offered a billion dollar contract. Yeah, but that's a rare, rare thing as well. Yeah, that's that's okay. that's never. But Saudi, the money they're paying in Saudi, no NBA player, pay, player like what Neymar. So you can all I do is compare the top to the top. And then if you compare the mid to the mid, if you do compare the mid-level NBA player to the mid-level Premier League player, the mid-level Premier League um, um, NBA players aren't getting paid 20 million a day, 20 million a year. Yeah, but who would you class as a mid-player? Because I would say some are. <laughs> what, mid-level? Yeah. Again, Dude, there isn't many mid-NBA players. So, anymore. like, for instance, I think we recently spoke about Grant Williams when he yeah. went to the Mavs. I think he's on four-year four 56 million. Okay, so which like is 12 mil a year. 14 mil a year. Yeah, 12, 40 mil a year. Yeah, that's more than most mid players. No, in the you're prime. right, because that's 300 bags a week, close to. Yeah. Yeah, Crazy. no, you're right, you're right. You're so right. that's basically like, just for instance, say, uh, he's on 300 bags, Rashford wage. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, mm. that's what that made me think, it's like, bro, whereas, like, <laughs> bro, shooters in the NBA could get 30 mil a year. That's just true, if you're yeah. a sharpshooter. That's true. Yeah, and I say shooting, about, shooting the ball. If not you think about what's literal. what's the guy from Miami Heat, man, hero. Dun- D- yeah. Duncan Robinson. Yeah. You're he not- signed five year ninety million, I think. You're you're <laughs> right, you're right in where you're you're correct in saying that they're probably paid more. But in my in where I'm trying to work out is they also have to pay for everything. Yeah. You get what I mean? In terms of are you talking about insurance and all insurance. that stuff? Okay, yeah. yeah. In it, like in England, yeah, yeah. Obviously, they have to pay their state. They have to pay IRS and state income tax. Yeah, we 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 just like a new a fan yeah, who we, just we got, see the figure and yeah, not yeah, think yeah. about everything that has yeah. to go into. We, we got an eye, bro. National insurance ain't that much compared to. It's enough. <laughs> uh, tax in this country is a madness. <laughs> yeah, as well, that's, that's and a, that is enough. That's man. a conversation, <laughs> <laughs> bro. <laughs> But, no, said, N-I is enough. <laughs> N-I is but enough. all right, well, Duncan Robertson, he's he's laughing because he's in Miami. No, it's true. You, no state income. Tax. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, I'm 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 not saying. I, I hear what you're saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. I what I tried to do at the top of the top. So you compare LeBron to uh, Cristiano Ronaldo or Lionel Messi. He actually gets paid more. Wage wise, uh, Messi or Ronaldo's no, maybe slightly. Yeah, yeah, but Ronaldo, LeBron's not the highest paid. Yeah, he's, he's not the highest. He but never is. <laughs> That's yeah, it. I understand. So the highest paid player in the NBA was who? Jalen Brown. Brown. <laughs> Which is the most ridiculous thing I've heard in my life. But no, it's is. just his turn, bro. Yeah, yeah. That's what it so was. So Jalen Brown, he's a five-year, three hundred and four million that he's had in summer. So, so like Tatum's 60, gonna pull up. So that's something like sixty mil a year. Yeah, Tatum's gonna <laughs> overtake that this year. But you see, it's, yeah. <laughs> bro, it's mad. That's the thing, though. We're the highest paid. Those men have been the highest paid. But then, obviously, Steph, not Steph. Obviously, Messi and Ronaldo. Like when I when I saw Messi's wages broke down one time, he was on like a hundred million pound a year. Yeah. Okay. I, I do. I do get. All right. I'm breaking down Jalen Brown. So that's five million a month. So that's basically one point two. One point two five million a week yeah, that yeah. he's supposedly on. Yeah, Bearing in mind, like you said, that's dollars. That's we just see the figures, but we won't do that. If we want to now break it yeah, down, break yeah, it yeah, down. Yeah, yeah. It might be a mil a week, and that's arguably what Mbappe's on, for exactly. instance, at PSG. You get what <laughs> I mean? Mbappe's on more, really. And that's what Neymar's on. Yeah, yeah. Mm. And then Cristiano Ronaldo. He's you got, you probably got, on about the near yeah, enough the same. Or you got you got randomers that are going to, but Saudi for that, that money. That that's the thing, though. Like. In football, that's become new money because of right, Saudi. Right, right, right. Do you know that's what I mean? True. Whereas, obviously, PSG were paying... where we were wasn't paying, paying over 200. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> PSG were paying, like, Messi close to that or whatever. Mm-hmm. But 
It's just whereas NBA, we know someone's gonna get that money. Yes, yeah, because you just know next man up. It's just yeah, next just man timing. Up. As long as they become an all star, <laughs> they're getting paid. So yeah, obviously we've been speaking about value <laughs> in terms of Mbappe or NBA, etc. And today I saw the hundred most valuable sports teams in the world. Mm-hmm. Um, who wants to guess their top five? Top five. I can't really see number five in this picture. Uh, well, I don't know what it is, but five. Or I feel like Dallas Cowboys will be there. Yeah. Madrid. The New York um, Yankees. I'm trying to think if this is a Yankees badge. Is this all sports? Yeah, all sports. New Let York Yankees, see. definitely. Let me see. Golden State Warriors. Uh, yeah. And um, That's shocking, though. That's your, why is that shocking to you? I've, I've been knowing that. They, they they said um how much money that their franchise made from the time they um yeah that that didn't surprise yeah I think it it surprises people when you see it because they're not a historic franchise mm. but yeah, because of their is. championships and Silicon Valley yeah <laughs> I was like Boy. yeah they made bread in it yeah and also like I remember um LeBron saying something when Steph got his contract about um how much money that he's saying oh there shouldn't be a cap because when uh, Steph got drafted, they're worth like 300 million and then now they're worth five points of a billion. Oh, what, LeBron Whoa. said? Yeah, LeBron said that in a tweet. Bro, the back. Warriors, because, bro, those champs, Steph yeah. and those championships has brought the Warriors crazy bread. Mm-hmm. Why is, do that, you think is, that, they, is that why Draymond asked like that? Hey, I'm just like, <laughs> bro, why do you think they... Someone was asking about him the other day. <laughs> they opened the chase center like that. Yeah, they have you know, the money. Most like clubs or just say sports teams... When it comes to a new stage or arena, things take a bit of time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Bro, the Warriors announced they were opening a new arena. The following year, it was there. Mm-hmm. Obviously, they had the, the infrastructure. Yeah, place, already, but, but like, bro, everything was ready. Yeah. Like, <laughs> you have to have like, limited funds to do that sort so, of stuff. So I can see why Clay doesn't want to leave. Yeah. Cause, bro, even they were talking about, um, say, obviously, we spoke about LeBron. Um, them inquiring for him last week mm-hmm. on trade deadline. But they were saying, oh, if LeBron was to go there, for instance, to be closer to those higher ups in Silicon Valley. But obviously, because it's LeBron, yes, he can outreach to them. anyone yeah, yeah. he wants to in yeah. that kind of facility. But just when you take it in, like the Bay Area, <laughs> like they give the Bay, they make the Bay seem way bigger than it is compared to from a 49ers perspective. Yeah, Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like the 49ers the are boss, small. The, the disparity between the 49ers and, and the Warriors. Golden State Warriors. It's you won't think both teams are in the Bay, for instance. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm trying to say. It used to be Man United and Man City. Think about Man United and Man City before Man City became this. Yeah. <laughs> Fair. That's what it's like. Man United back Jeez. in the early 2000s compared to Man City. Cause you, ju- you just think that the 49ers is just... and en- not, not any team beca- because they're a big NFL team, but they're mm. just any team where they're based. Yeah, yeah, because they're, they're just the <laughs> sideline team. When you area. actually deep it, they're actually near the war. Not saying they're right next to them, but... They're, they're in the not, same not vicinity. Yeah, yeah, exactly. They're in the same place. <laughs> As the Golden State Warriors, and then the way the Warriors are perceived to be mm. is like a, just say an upper class <laughs> kind yeah, of, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Industry, yeah, something like that. Company. <laughs> Schlack, bro, Schlack. Fair. <laughs> but who are the top five? You know, I was just about to ask that. Yeah, who are actually the top five? Because we said Yankees, I can't see Cowboys. this final. Um, I think this might be... Let, let me see the badge. Can I see it? So the top five. Hold on. The top five are the Cowboys, the Golden State Warriors, the New York Knicks, the Lakers, and then I don't know if that's a hockey badge or... Let me see. The hell badge is that? That might be the Yankees. The, the Yankees is just the yeah. NY though. I know, but that looks like, is that is that an NHL team? Is that Royals or something? Oh, MLB team. Type in the Royals. Yeah, I think you might be. Cause it, it's loading. Uh, no, it is the Yankees. Oh, it is. It is. I did think it was them, but that's not their that's standard not their, badge. Yeah. So the Giants are six. Big market teams, man. Is it only in America? Nope. Cause you asked me when the first football team is. Twenty five. Or who the first football team is actually? Probably Man United. United or Madrid. They're the top two. Man United first. 
Okay, cool. <laughs> uh, yes. Yeah, Man United mm. definitely money wise way yeah. bigger. Than, I remember the other week I said they're still the biggest club in the world. Yeah, they are. Yeah. I feel like is, Madrid are starting to catch small. Mm. But now, maybe... The, the only reason why they ain't catching is because they're in Spain. Yeah. And their league isn't televised like it should and mm. it's not as good. And and their main rival sold off a couple of their assets to to be funded right now. But And, and they're not playing at their stadium. Who? Oh, also, Barca. Yeah. Yeah, but I feel like... Pardon. What Real Madrid have done with their stadium the last year? Because <laughs> next year, they got an NFL game now. Yeah. Yeah, they yeah, they, they, they announced they it last week or two weeks ago. Yeah. <laughs> and Where have I been? Their stadium's now an all-purpose stadium. Mm-hmm. If you watch the video of it when they first released it, bro, it is unreal. Crazy. It's like Spurs, but it's even to slight... It's bigger, though. It's yeah. just to another level because they can close the roof. Mm. So they've okay. planned out how they can um, put tennis courts, basketball courts. Um, bro, it's, it's crazy. <laughs> yeah. It's absolutely the crazy. The about is... It is the best. I yeah, want and, to and they already have a basketball team as well. Yeah, and it's their the basketball team is the it's biggest good. in Europe. Yeah. So, but like, just from the video that I saw, it was how they're gonna. Obviously, I reckon they'll eventually play an NBA game there. Yeah, so that'd be mad. Well, they got infrastructure for it now. Bro, yeah, so that's why the only thing I thought, okay, Madrid starting to close the gap slightly, and then obviously the Mid- Madrid stars, they're young, they're mm. the main stars now. So, so they're linking up with guys in that. America. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know yeah. what I mean? They've like got the world stars in there. Vinny building. and SGA, they're like this. Yeah. So Good crossover. Yeah. It's a real good crossover club. And it reaches everyone. Yeah. The brand reaches everyone. Whereas Man United feel like they're on the decline, but I know they're not because they never are. Yeah. But it just feels like, because of the way the football club is. Yeah, we got that. We got that pitch. Ineos now. We got that Ineos <laughs> announcement, baby. <laughs> brick by brick. <laughs> brick by brick. Trust but yeah. Slowly. United are 13th in the world and Madrid are 19th <laughs> and then the next football club is barcelona actually at 23rd would be can Best you day. believe the Best boston it sh- celtics it shouldn't are, be though the boston celtics are 22nd they're a massive franchise though. yeah but i thought they'd be higher oh no 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 no. i think no. it's because of where they're at though yeah i, I think I, history got them that NFL far NFL teams majority of them because like the first bar the knicks and lakers <laughs> the rest go up to man united bar knicks Lakers, Yankees, and Golden State. No, no, I've gone past them okay, already. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. So from two to fifth, after that, six to twelve is all NFL teams. Yeah, see that NFL franchises make make hell of a lot of money. Mm. Yeah. So I remember they get paid at the start of the year, a load of money, a lump sum of money, and then they have their money, and then the money they make every Sunday, and then everything else then that comes with it. The NFL has just been killing it in terms of viewings. Every, yeah. Bro, Dev. The sport's grown massively. Yeah. Why, why do you think they're showing Taylor, Taylor Swift all the time, fam? Bro, yeah, they even too. said they're capitalizing they know what they're on, doing. On, too. on her, so, well, on her being at the games. Yeah. Um, those TikTok trends after her. <laughs> mate, even there was another conversation, well, a smaller conversation this week about. Um, how, what the NBA can do to catch up, right, right, to right. the NFL and stuff like that. <laughs> Get Beyonce in the building, bro. They've <laughs> surpassed them by far now. Mm. But this is that was the point. Back going back to the All Star is that the All Star used to be the thing that used to say, okay, the NBA season's awake. Mm. The All Star game, sorry, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Because it, it, it the All Star game's the week went. or two after. Well, back in the day, two weeks after the Super Bowl, yeah. It's like, all right, cool. The NBA season's awake. Everyone will be into it again. Everyone's all warm and that. But when the when the talent of, that's being showcased just doing that, it's just like, what's the, what the hell is this? Yeah, yeah so, mate. I mean, we saw it with the viewer numbers on Christmas Day, for instance. Mm. Like, NBA games didn't do well compared to <laughs> the NFL games. The only game that does well, I'll be honest, is LeBron versus Steph. Yeah. That's the game that's viewed the most in the NBA. And I think it's going to be that way until... I think because You've of You've only that, got a couple left. They even call that true. Superstar Week or Superstar Matchup because yeah, of yeah. them two. And I think that's been the most viewed NBA game this season. Mm-hmm. It was a the great game. The game that went to overtime. Yeah, yeah. Great, game. <laughs> great game it was. But even if it weren't going to be, it's because it's, it's them two. Yeah. And the thing, since LeBron's... To be fair, their matchups since the Cavs, even when he's gone to Lakers, have and been sensate. Even yeah. though they're playing the game, <laughs> bro. we always get the great matchups between those two. They're, they, I honestly, different, so, different level. That's why I hold them such to a high level again yeah. because of everything they do, bro. Yeah, like, different level. Yeah, that's why they're, they're the best, man. They're the best. Mate, so level. do you want to know where your beloved Arsenal are in this? They're like mm. fifty. 
your guess? Uh, probably about 38. Uh, 57. Oh, okay. Mm. Chelsea's right behind Arsenal on 58. Yeah, no. Liverpool are 29. Arsenal could have more money, but our main owner likes his other teams more than he likes Arsenal. Oh, yeah, I mean, all, all, all these other teams will be there in front of you, look. 100%. <laughs> well, I mean, they've all won titles recently as well. That's Arsenal. <laughs> Don't worry, that's us this year. Strong. It's us this year. All right, quick one on that. I was, when I was out for my boy's birthday on Saturday, the Arsenal fans, they think... They don't think Arsenal are going to win the league. They think Arsenal might win the Champions League, though. What do you, what's your take on that? I was like, hmm, it's not a bad, it's not a bad point. Winning both. Oh, oh, okay. That's my take. We're in every competition this time to win it. If we win Champions League, well, I don't I mean, care about the Premier League, though. Of, of course. I don't give a dash about the Premier League. If we win Champions League, I don't do you care Do you know, about if Arsenal league. win Champions League this season, yeah, I feel like all the Arsenal fans, their heads will grow by two inches. Bro, you'll, <laughs> you'll find all these... Ones that are quiet. I'll, I'll find ones <laughs> that I didn't know were Arsenal fans. Bro, the last year come alone, out of the woodwork like the last cockroaches. Year alone, in my, some of my group chats that I've been there for how many years? The <laughs> couple of them. Oh, I'm like, eh, eh, eh. Ask who? <laughs> so no. So, but I mean, I can't even. I can't even imagine it. I, you know, I don't want to imagine it. We need to. Uh, the, the the actually, Arsenal fans actually won't be pissed if Arsenal won the league. You see Arsenal Twitter, yeah. <laughs> it's alright man oh, there's another debate on Twitter Saka versus Bell uh, we'll, we'll talk about that that's another, another day that's another day it's just like bruv another day that's even a whole finished whole yet. Episode. you lot are crazy bruv oh, <laughs> another episode but like, like I said I think if Arsenal would sign Tony I said this to my boys as well they would have definitely won one of the two I don't know if they'll go win either two but they're in it so yeah. in every competition to win it right now we're, we're in good form as well so 100%, 100%. hopefully We'll see. A penultimate game for you lot is you lot coming to Old Trafford. I said, oh my days. I did not like that. Yeah. Because you've, uh, historically, they've won the league at Old Trafford before. We're going to try and I was do like, it again. bro. We do that again. At I'm the same time, we could podcast. put that's, that's disgusting. in your title. Bro. That's true. That's true. <laughs> like, it could. <laughs> it could go either way. It's, it's that's, that's, be that's the last time we beat Arsenal, though. It's been a while, man. No, nah, not at Old Trafford. They come to Old Trafford. We beat them at oh, Old oh. last season. So mm. even then, Schlack, we might not record that day because there might be bad vibes. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> I'll be honest. If Arsenal win the league, I'm recorded by myself. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bro, Jacob will take the camera mic and lights the Emirates. Yep. I'm recording by myself. I'm doing Arsenal fan TV oh. by myself. Aye, aye. What a day it will be. That, what that day? will be a deadly day. That, all right, that game is on the 11th of May. Yes. Chai. Yeah, I'm flying out. <laughs> What I, don't know, I don't know where I go, be, but I'll be somewhere. Get I me? I think so. it's scheduled for 11th for me, so it's Saturday. And, and you got international duty you should be going for. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> June, <laughs> June, yeah. June the 5th, I'll be gone. I'll be here 11th oh, of May strong. Am I here then? I might be away. Or, I I'll don't know. 11th of May strong. Fuck. Well, they might do it on the sun. 11th of May is so far scheduled because it's the Saturday. Yeah, yeah. They might do it on the Sunday. The 12th. Who knows? Ooh, should we, should Even we, better. Should we'll, we pod, watch it we'll podcast <laughs> live viewing that day. We'll see, man. That, that's, I, don't, I might not want to see Jacob, but I hear it. Live viewing. <laughs> I'm coming with the Bro, O2. I, I'm a, I'll room. crash someone, you know. <laughs> <laughs> if, I don't, if I don't get Him. the result, I'll, no, I can't do that. I can't do that to Jacob, man. I'm coming with the Arsenal shirt, the O2 Highbury one. I'm not wearing the new thing. Oh. <laughs> The burgundy, that was the good old De- time. Depending on how the, the table the is, yeah. yeah depending on how the table ends up at that time, yeah. It will be like how Nigeria lost the final. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I yeah. think I saw Deji tweet. Oh, you put in the chat that you said I can crash it right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I could crash someone, you know. <laughs> yeah, you might not good that day. Yeah, we touched up on that last week. Well, obviously, you had the so. the only thing that The only thing that gave me comfort by that game is that we were so rubbish. Yeah, I said that last week. Then I, I, was, I, was, I was literally right next to my boy. Yeah, it was at some sports bar in Stratford. I, I looked at him like, oh, they're on us, you know. Ten seconds later, to scored. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. As soon as the final whistle went, yeah, I was out. I, I didn't stay for nothing. I said bye. I was gone. There was nothing to stay for. I think all those tweets, I was on the way to the car. <laughs> 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 Hey, <laughs> oh, I saw one or two tweets here because I was just loading up for a Super Bowl. I was just like, oh, my days, this guy, bro. 1-0. Arsenal, <laughs> look at them. I, I saw it. I didn't want to say nothing. Look I was going to say after we finished recording, right, but... It's all right. It happens. He brought it up. Porto just went 1-0 up. Nah, it's, like, it's... In like the 90th minute. It's but all right. It doesn't matter. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> it's all right. They go come yeah. to Emirates. It's fine. 
Yeah, they'll come with a cushion. Yeah, Ooh. but there's no, uh, there's no one guy advantage anymore. So yeah. like, I don't mind that. Uh, but Wait, so if if it ends nil nil, don't they go through? Yeah, 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 yeah. But so it's a it's a advantage. Oh, yeah, that's not gonna happen now. <laughs> <laughs> not gonna happen. We'll see. When's that game gonna be? Three weeks, isn't it? Yeah. Or so. Because yeah. I feel like this round of fixtures, there's a three week gap in it. I think. I think so. Oh well. And then, boy. but yeah, value of sports clubs. We'll see if Arsenal's value goes down if, when they exit the Champions League. Mm. <laughs> um, yeah. But yes. What's, what's the song of the week? Song, song of the of, week. Song of the week. Obviously, it was going to be Stally KD for me and Jacob. Yes, but mine's changed. So uh, my song of the week is Masego Black Anime. Fair. Did he perform that well yesterday? Yeah. Black Anime. Yeah. Okay, my one is Roddy Rich, just because. Mm. Mm, nice. And mine is Cast by Shally Pop- Poppy and Odmodu Black. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, when I heard it on the weekend, I, I heard it before, but I didn't really take it in. I was, I was just, I was like, eh, eh. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't think I've heard that song before, you know. You, um, you may, like maybe I have, but I just don't know the name of it. Yeah, that was I, that, that was like me as well. And the irony, Shelly Poppy, that's how you say it. He had his concert or show the night of the Afcon final. Because jeez, one of the men that went to go watch it, and he said his name. I was like, I'd never heard of him, so I'd only known of his name two weeks ago. Mm. Right, right, but right. I'd heard one or two of these songs beforehand, or or like just through the grapevine and stuff like that. So it's like, yeah. But mm, yeah, nice. no, it's got a couple bangers still. Yeah. And obviously, this is the last episode before this man goes to the Rico Arena, Rico Arena, Arena, yeah, which is Coventry City Stadium on Monday. Yep. Where we will be, me and me and that guy. That's right. That's right. We'll, we'll be, be there. Minutes. Or yes. B square. <laughs> Obviously, hopefully, um, well, first of all, good luck to Maidstone players, the boys, because we know the boys support this pod. Yeah, good luck, Maidstone. So pick up <laughs> you boys, <laughs> good Maidstone good United, <laughs> including him. Um, Trust me, big up yourselves, man. We yes. see you guys sharing and liking. So top men, you are obviously come to a couple of your games, but yeah, obviously, good luck. Uh, massive game against Coventry, mm-hmm. um, and yeah, just just go and make more history. That's the plan. That's it. Yeah, that's, that's it, man. Plan. Do you know what I mean? Back in tomorrow, plan and, to win. And then hopefully next week when we record, we could be in a celebratory mood. More yeah. magic, man. Magic. Yeah. The magic don't stop. Mm. The magic of the cup. Yes. Thank you, guys. Love as always. See y'all on the next episode. As Dej likes to say. Tell a friend to tell a friend. And Jacob. Like and subscribe. Love, peace, people. Joe, I'm signing out. Dej, signing out. Jacob, signing out. Peace. Take care. Dunno. Dunno, 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 dunno.